he was so grossly underweight and so dehydrated. He was so tiny and he was in some leaf litter, you would never have seen him. He was found by a woman who was out walking her foster dog and the dog actually found him. He was ice cold, and I thought, I don't know. Can you enjoy that? His head was huge for his body. You want to chase him, huh? I had no idea what I was getting myself into. We're looking at a four-week-old baby that has the weight of a two-week-old baby. He weighed less than a double-A battery. The first five days, I fed him round the clock every 90 minutes. No? You want me to clean your face off first? He makes a mess. But it was like pouring water through a colander. It was just going right through, and I'm going, why is he not gaining any weight? I spoke to a friend of mine who is a doctor. I said, have you ever seen a lactose intolerant human infant? What would that look like? And she said, I would imagine something like what he looks like. She said, you may be onto something. So I ran, I mean, literally like got the car and took off to the store. And then when I gave him the following feeding with the modified formula, his weight ticked up a tenth of a gram. And I went, that's it? Like, that's the whole thing? I mean, the following day, his head was up. He was moving around, he was looking around, and much, much more enthusiasm for life. Joie de vie, he had it. <laughs> weep, weep. And I thought, oh my, he's coming around. He's gonna be okay, I think. For Robbie to have been born lactose intolerant, rescued, and then have the issue diagnosed before it killed him, he is the luckiest squirrel I'll ever meet. <laughs> The winner by knockout, the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Rocky the Lactose Intolerant Red Squirrel! He gets gifts almost daily. People have sent him toys, and he loves the toys that he gets sent. But he goes out of his cage. Yeah, you like him. And I put him in an area, and I put toys there, and I just hang out with him. He inspects everything. If there's a new toy, it's like, ooh, this is fun to play with. He keeps him occupied with his mind. It's good for him. I want to do what's right for him. So I expect to be able to release him and he'll go into a release cage and he'll get used to seeing other squirrels and predators and cars and experiencing the weather. And when he's ready, he probably just won't come back. just a special little boy. But if his heart is in the trees, that's what he wants. I hope he lives a long, happy life, and I hope he makes little Rockies out there. They're not lactose intolerant. <laughs>